Hello. Welcome back to Rad System Studio List Field Properties. My name is Tuzik. In today's episode of List Field Properties, we will learn how configure field inline edit. Field inline edit property allows us to modify a field record Ajaxly without leaving the list page. By default field inline edit is set to false. To enable a field inline edit, first we have to enable it from the list page inline edit property. Click on the table you want, select the list page of that table. Over here at the list page properties, click the inline edit field. From the options provided, select true. Now we can configure each field inline edit property of this list page, starting from the name, gender, DOB, phone, email and info field. Before we start configuring individual field, let's publish the project and take a look at what changes after enabling list page inline edit. Inline edit takes effect on all the field and once we click on a field it trigger inline edit, that cool. We can disable inline edit of a single field. Select any field of our choice, I will use DOB field for demonstration, from the field properties, click the inline edit field property and set it to false. Publish project and preview in the browser to see changes. As we can see, inline edit doesn't take effect on the DOB field while it does to other fields. The next property is the edit field control type. You can use any field of your choice. Locate inline edit properties from the field property on the left. Click on the edit field control type. From the options provided, select any field control type of your choice. I will choose the date control type. Publish project and preview in the browser to see changes. When I click on the configured field, the inline edit control type use date picker, and that cool. The next property is the popover display. By default the popover display is enabled on all field, but we can disable it. First let's take a look at how popover display works. Popover display set inline edit field to a modal dialog box, the displays on top of our record page. To disable it, I will use the name field for demonstration. From the field inline edit properties, click on the use popover display property, and select false from the option. Publish project and preview in the browser to see changes. Now when we click on the name field, the inline edit field is placed directly on the table field, this causes a level of distortion to the table, please observe this. The next property is the placement. This property is used when popover is enabled, it determines the position of the popover dialog box when activated. The next property is the activate mode. By default, field inline edit is activated on click event, we can change that to any other type from the activate mode options provided, I'm going to set it to mouse enter. Publish project and preview in the browser to see changes. As we can see, Inline edit is activated when we hover on the configured field record. The last property of the list is show buttons. This property allows us to change the position of the inline edit control buttons. By default, from the options provided, we can switch to left, right or bottom, I'm going to set it to bottom. Publish project and preview in the browser and observe changes as I demonstrate. Now we have learned how to configure field inline edit properties. Please subscribe to our channel and enable notification bell icon to get notified when we post a new video tutorial like this. Thank you.